uh, even libertarians, if you have a contract where you're told you're going to get this money, then you need to get that money, you know, even though libertarians are against war. <laughs> Well, I think the soldiers have been getting screwed for for everywhere. You can go all the way back to, you know, from the 1700s all the way through. They have never taken good care of a soldier. They just haven't. Some of them, some of them they can say, yeah, I got all, but a lot of them didn't. A lot of them have never gotten the full medical. They should have jobs. They should have full medical. You shouldn't be charging them jack that you sent them over into foreign lands to fight something that they've never seen. They don't know what it is. You know, they got to learn all this stuff about the war and for what? What they, you know, I mean, especially, I mean, they should have learned after Vietnam. They really yeah. should learn after Vietnam um, how badly those guys were treated when they came back. And, you know, now just, you keep making more and more wars. I mean, they, they, they put out a good article about Gaddafi. You know, cause they said Gaddafi's last words was, what did I do to you? What did I ever do to you guys? And it's like, well, we put you in power, and now we're going to take you out, as we always do. Right. Yeah, we put well, everybody he, in power. He also decided <laughs> that he wasn't going to use the dollar to buy oil. And as soon as you, if you buy, like if you're in Saudi Arabia and you want to buy oil from another country, dollar to buy it. Right. And as soon as you decide that you do not want to use the dollar to buy oil, that's when we attack historically everywhere. Yes. Yeah, we took away the, once after World War I and the gold standard left, that was it. The dollar became the deal. Okay. So, uh, well, we got all the, we got from uh, the the attempt to register scandal to the gold standard. Oh, I it's think that was back. a There's emails, right? But these these are not you know they, while they were on the computer of Hillary Clinton's aid, uh, this they the husband, they were not from well, why Hillary was Clinton. She, why was she using his? computer and what's in there we don't know yet he, i was just reading an article that's why i fell silent because i wanted to be able to step up on this one she was using the computer that she uh abedin and um, anthony were sharing a laptop uh she was forwarded to hillary because she was hillary's gatekeeper and hillary did not like to read on the computer she liked to read off of hard copies so emails were being sent or documents were being sent to abedin to print out having trouble with the government server and it was easier for her to transfer to send documents over to her yahoo server and hold them there it seems to me like part of all, a lot of this could have been avoided if we'd just gotten some like you know nerds in there to like work <laughs> on the fucking software that our government is using because it seems to me like it's a really unwieldy troublesome interface and, you know, and, and doesn't, you know, people can't really effectively run well, well, their it, lives from it, but I don't know. It would be easier for me to get money by robbing a bank, but that would be illegal. So it doesn't really matter <laughs> whether Hillary was, uh, it no, was more convenient that's, that's for a, that's her. A false, no, that's a it, false equivalency. It wouldn't equivalency. be that much easier, It's a trust false me. equivalency. No, it's, it's not. not. It's, no, it's no, no, no. illegal to do that. And then the uh, Democrats worked really hard to pass these laws to stop supposedly government corruption, and now they don't want to follow them. Why is that? Don't, they don't apply to It's a Hillary. false equivalency. Getting money out of a it's cash machine illegal. is not the same thing as not robbing <laughs> a robbing bank. And robbing a bank is illegal. She, yeah. The, you know, they're, they're not all... if there was intention there. She wasn't trying to do so. I mean, oh, I don't, don't know. know but it does, I don't know that. But you know what? It, I, we don't know that yet. And it seems to me that, you know, intention is got to well, play you, a you part have in to have criminal intent. And a lot of people think she was trying to hide certain things. All right. Well, except that they're not able to turn up anything that she was we, trying to hide. Yes, maybe, but, but even after going through all those emails, damn maybe, the facts. People have, have opinions, people, and those exactly. matter. People exactly. have opinions, and they don't need proof to to prove their theories. Maybe they just have. need to have theories, and that's what's important. <laughs> Speaking of what's important, we are going to move on to the next segment of our show, taking a look at what's happening in Blackshin News. Our Blackshin News correspondent, Time and Ship. Take it away. Uh, power to the people. Here we are again. That the uh, that you know we find out that the people over at the that took over the reserve, the Bundy folks have gotten off. White boys with guns is always still the best way to go. They don't go to jail. White boys can't go to jail. Brothers can, can't even get a 
a gun permit and we'll still get shot doesn't matter here we are again that that, that why can't we you know uh, uh put folks in jail why isn't things fair you know they they say oh well you know that uh you you, you shot a man with his hands up but a, a dude can you know a dude can go into a church and shoot nine brothers nine people i should say and uh they take him out to burger king what the hell is going on with our country they say oh racism doesn't exist you know, we don't want to always use the racial thing to go down to. But guess what? You keep making it to where folks can say racism. You know, if until you start treating people fairly and everything's on the, on the up and up, then, hey, guess what? It's always going to come down to race. We can, you know, we're, we're fighting folks over to the left. The white dudes are saying that the, that the, that the brothers are taking our jobs. The Mexicans are taking our jobs. no. Guess what, white boy? You're just going through the same problem that all everybody else is going through. And you just got to deal with it. That's all they tell us to do. Deal with it. Do you know that 1.1 million white cats have lost their jobs since the since this thing? And now and all the brothers said to him, yep, well, uh, we've been losing jobs on a steady, <laughs> steady, uh, you know, steady way for a while. So uh, join the club. But I'm telling you now today, we just need to learn to deal with our shit. And quit pointing fingers at everybody else. That's me. (laughs) Down to my people. There you go. Blackshin News for the week. All right. Uh, Well, thank you very much, Timon. You did bring up an interesting story, which is our next big issue for the week, which is the, uh, the Bundy Boys getting off. Uh, yeah. up in Oregon. Uh, as as time had mentioned, uh, if you don't remember previously on Conspiracy Theories, uh, the uh, the Bundy family uh, took a refuge in Oregon to protest against uh, the, the government ownership of land. Yes. And uh, they did it with guns, yeah. and uh, and they were found, and they were acquitted. They 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 were acquitted of their crime. They found an, a a uh, part in the Constitution that claims that uh, they had a right to do what they what they were doing, and it's like they. Uh, I mean, the, the sheriff couldn't stop them. No one could stop them. These people had guns, and we have seen. You know, you hate to use the race card, but we've had several brothers that have shot that have had no guns, and they're blown away. These cats told you they had guns. One of them was shot. Yeah, yeah shot after only. after they rammed a police car. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I you know I you know I can't really even argue with this because I don't even know what part of the law, you know, did, did they got off on. But sometimes it's weird. Courts actually use the law. It is strange. Well, you know? I mean, if, if you if you want to, that that goes like right around. People were saying with the judge that got the guy off for who went to the kid who raped the girl and she went to Stanford and they're like, you know, he he just said, hey, you know, you know what, the kid, I don't think he meant to do it. Six months, you know. So actually, you're putting it could come down to a judge that just thinks, ah, well, you know what, they didn't really mean any harm. Yeah, they just. You know, just some good old boys, boys. Yeah, you know, never meaning, meaning no, no harm. harm. You know, and <laughs> they, you know, yeah, and they get to Rome, and and, let out, and a lot of people are saying, "Look at our law," they, and they all grab, run to the Constitution every time they run to the Constitution. So, so you're against well, the Constitution? <laughs> I look, it, it, look, I have a problem with the Constitution because every last one of them owned slaves when they signed it anyway. So hey, actually, well, like, actually, Madison who wrote the Constitution, the original drafts of the Constitution gave women the right to vote and made slavery illegal, and they had to take it out. So uh-huh. Madison, who took who took the Constitution from the Iroquois Law of Peace. Because he lived among the Iroquois Indians, and it's part of what's called the Iroquois Law of Peace. So it's actually an American Indian document. And guess what? That was never in our history books. You you probably had to dig that up to find that shit. He's been it reading was, his Howard Zinn. <laughs> yes. Look yeah, at yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that actually brings... Russell Beans told me himself. Uh-huh. I did not know until I spoke to Russell Beans. I had him on my show. Uh-huh. And uh, he told me about it. I'm like, wow. So every time I meet an Iroquois Indian, I say, well, thanks for the Constitution. And they say, you're welcome. (laughs) (laughs) But, uh, you know, that does bring up the other part of the issue, which I wanted to discuss, is uh, the protests going on uh, in in, uh, North Dakota Dakota with the uh, Standing Rock Sioux Reservation. Yeah. 
uh, where the Bundys get off for occupying federal land with guns. Meanwhile, protesters who are unarmed, who are on Native American land, are getting arrested uh, for standing in the way of a oil pipeline, which will very likely pollute not just the drinking water for the Indians, but, the aquifer. but for everybody, yeah. because everybody drinks. This goes back, as you know, wherever there's been a reservation, wherever they put the Indian, as history repeats itself again, we're going to keep moving that Indian because of what we need. We that, that pipeline was destiny. I was reading this morning that pipeline was originally supposed to go through Bismarck, and they, which is you know full and full of full of white people, and so they just were like, "Hey, let's just route not, it through the reservation because it's just a bunch of poor Indians. We don't give a shit." Right. I mean, I mean, that's why they they've off Mount Rushmore at where is Mount Rushmore? Uh, South South Dakota. Yeah, they mm-hmm. offered them six billion dollars. Indians told them, screw you, we don't want it. Give us back our land. They want the land. Yeah, they want the land. Because uh-huh. the land is, more exp- is worth more than because the, they said, hey, we'll just bomb that uh, They're gonna thing. are going to wreck it. Yeah, they just want to take dynamite to that Imagine Mount Imagine today trying to carve a Mount Rushmore somewhere. That yeah. would, be, would be absolutely impossible. You could it never do be. that. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not Where legally, you, anyway. <laughs> not legally. God, you know, you look back. You could only you could look back even like ten years to this sort of halcyon time in America, <laughs> pol- American politics. Where I mean, where even the bushes start looking good, don't yeah. they? <laughs> like, has, has anybody here had like a little strange, weird alien moment of like, oh, look at W. What a sweetheart. God, I miss him. Uh-huh. You no. know, <laughs> you know, you know. When, look at him. Look you... at him snuggling Michelle. Even, I just even... can't. You know. I mean, it, we've gone so far in the wrong. Yeah, direction. but I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm the kind of guy like you know. I I <laughs> understand. You know, the the mentally challenged children are. You know, maybe a little more precious. <laughs> but if they, one of them burns my house down, that's still no, the little I'm fucker actually, that burned my yeah. house down. You know, I'm being I don't, facetious, but I know, but, but really, I mean, yeah. you know, it's kind of amazing. Is, is very extreme now. You know, ex hit. Although he was an ex hit man from the CIA you know there was a there was a document that was released Bush uh, senior. after his yeah Bush senior yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a document that was released showing that he was actually in the CIA when he was a senator and as far back in 1962 yeah. and he claimed he was not in that and he said it must have been some other George Bush uh. <laughs> Didn't, didn't W try that defense and, also? And, and, and uh, it must have been some other. Take a look at the Bush family for just for a minute. I mean, have you seen a bigger bunch of losers than that family at this point? <laughs> I mean, oh, it's the history crazy. of the Bush family is and there's fascinating. More. There's more there's, yeah, there's still more. Uh, who's who's, who's uh, Prescott? One. Yeah, his right. father tried to take over the country with an armed uh, with an armed insurgents at one point, and there was a guy that came out and wrote a book about. It. He was, he's a military. I, I don't know whether he's a general or a colonel, but anyway, he was being hired by Bush to, like, Prescott Bush to take over the country. And the Bushes also used to run a Nazi bank. It used to have Jesus a book where the God. Nazis actually stashed their money in the United States. Wow. And it was shut down by the FBI. They, there's something that's called Dark. Oh, God. It's what on, is it called? It's a documentary about the Bushes, and it's called Dark something. Oh, God. Now I can't remember. But anyway, it's... It's incredible. Just Google yeah. documentary about Bush Dark, and there's a second word there. I can't remember what it is, but it's fascinating. And if you really <laughs> want to like get a Matt's conspiracy game, dark theory, blank. there is a picture of what supposedly is George W. Bush standing on the sidewalk when Kennedy was assassinated. <laughs> whoa! Whoa, so whoa. if you really want with, a conspiracy theory. With Ted Cruz's theory, father? And, and a lot <laughs> yeah. of people, with, yeah, with Ted Cruz's dad. With a, and a lot of people, a lot of experts that look at this photograph and analyze it and analyze the way that he's dressed and the way that he stands and the way that he cocks his head and go, that is George W. Bush on the sidewalk right there. <laughs> yeah. So just think about that. <laughs> That's just frightening. Now, question, question about this documentary, because I, I was having an interesting conversation with someone. I went and saw, uh, just a little plug here, uh, really useless because it was in theaters for one night, and I guess it'll be released on video. A, uh, the documentary about the, uh, the band Oasis, mm-hmm. Supersonic. It was playing in theaters around the country one night, Awesome. Uh, when it does come out on video, highly recommend it if you're a fan of the band. But I was I was telling someone I was going to see a documentary. They're like, yeah, propaganda, not so much. And it's <laughs> it's hard to to yeah. veer into propaganda when when you're talking about the history of a rock band. 
But uh, the bushes. Uh, it's called Dark Legacy, and you can find it on YouTube. And it's 